Good morning, YouTube. You join me on my first ride out since I've uh, damaged my distal bicep tendon. And uh, I bought the old girl out from retirement, the Kawasaki Vulcan S650 Performance. Now, I bought this bike out uh, because the Africa Twin is just going to be a no-go. Um, it's too too heavy, it's too big. And me being a short ass, that if I do need to put my foot down in an emergency, I'm pretty much, well, I'm not on my tiptoes, but I'm, I'm not far off it. Whereas on this one, I'm completely flat-footed on both. So, I thought, what better time to get the Kawasaki out than to try and learn how to ride again. And so far, my arm feels pretty good. I've not had any discomfort, which is perfect. The main thing I was worried about was actually once I'm on the bike, am I going to be able to, to ride, basically? Um, but with the Kawasaki Vulcan's ergo reach system, you can tailor it to exactly how you want. And thankfully, I didn't need to adjust it. I could have done, I could have brought the handlebars in a little bit closer to me, but it's all good. It does feel very strange getting back out on the bike. I'm not gonna lie, I, <laughs> I have missed it. I do not enjoy being a car driver. Now, even though I'm back on the bike, I'm not gonna be riding all the time. I'm just doing a little ride here and there, just to make sure that my arm is all right, really. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still, aches. Um, it almost feels like my rotator cuff is uh, slightly weak. As soon as I rotate my arm outwards, it's, um, it's, it's quite painful. So I do need to make sure that I'm still protecting it and I'm not overdoing it. But nonetheless, I'm out. Now the Kawasaki Vulcan, I haven't ridden this thing in about a year. Now the reason was that when I bought the Africa Twin, because going back, I bought this bike when I had my Honda CBF 1000. Cracking bike, but I had issues with it. It was spluttering and tried to kill me several times because you lose all throttle power and all of a sudden it would just regain again. And uh, yeah, that's a story for another time. But I bought the Africa Twin. Now the Africa Twin, that's just an absolutely phenomenal bike which kind of made the Vulcan obsolete. I mean, the Africa Twin, it kind of standard with heated grips. It's got great wind protection. It's got wind uh, hand guards. It's just a bike that you can use for pretty much every situation going. Which then, unfortunately, just made the Vulcan a bit of a, an outcast, really. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. So, I made some inquiries uh, two weeks ago with Kawasaki, where I bought the bike from, and asked if they would uh, consider purchasing it back from me. Now, at the time, it was about 900 miles on the clock. I've now done just over a thousand miles, so it's still a very low mileage Kawasaki Vulcan. The majority of these ones are going on uh, second-hand websites for about six and a half thousand pounds, with two thousand miles plus on. This one hasn't even done 1,500 miles. So, I said, is there anything you can do? They said, yep, no problem at all. I'll bite back off you for 5,250. Generous offer, you might think. However, it's a year and a half old, about me, two years old, and I owe 6,000 pounds on it still. Now, 6,000 pounds, what money just to uh, sit on the driveway doing nothing with. So, I said, look, I can't go that low. I, can't, I don't have the money to play a shortfall. They said, 5-5. Five, five. I said, I'll get back to you. And in the meantime, I thought, well, actually, do you know what? Let me see if I can ride it, because there is no way on earth that I can ride the Africa Twin. Guys, I just want to bring your attention quickly to the uh, show plates I've had made up for the BMW Z4. These have been made from showplateworld.com. I've teamed up with them to produce these plates. Now, I'm going to be running these on the Z4, as you can see at the front. I've placed one with some sticky pads uh, at places such as Goodwood, Thruxton, or anywhere else that I go for, uh, for content creation. Um, 
great website showplatesworld.com and they will produce some legal plates conforming to all the BSAU markings and also the markings where the plate was produced also if you've got some ideas for some show plates put your registration details in them and they will make up smaller plates for show purpose only head over to their website I'll put a link in the description below and get a good idea of what your car or your motorcycle will look like with either their 4d 3d gel plates um, yeah brilliant website head over to them big thank you to showplatesworld.com for supporting my YouTube channel anyway back to the video right so the uh, the ride didn't go quite as planned as I wanted it to um, I turned the camera off not long after starting to be honest the um, well the weather was absolutely horrific but the, the actual ride on my arm it didn't feel too bad I, I managed to get on with it quite well the the position that the Kawasaki Vulcan offers when you're riding is really really nice um, if I moved my forearm whilst I was actually um, holding on to the handlebar on the accelerator then yes I would be in excruciating pain um, which just it was it was unbearable so I really had to stay as still as possible on the on the uh, handlebars that said it wasn't too bad um, to try to think of like the easiest way to explain it. it it just felt like a dull ache and that dull ache actually managed to um, kind of dissipate throughout an hour or so of riding it was absolutely Baltic though I mean the temperature yesterday I couldn't have picked a worse day to go out on the bike for a, uh, a test ride um, luckily I had my heated kit on my heated kit saved me big time whilst I was on the bike um, the gloves the Kais gloves brilliant the Kais jacket unbelievable to be honest I probably could do with it on the uh, on the Z4 but even still I mean I managed to get out it wasn't as bad as I thought I did initially take it out for like a little test drive just around the block uh, took out for about half an hour and yeah I managed to get on the right so that's why I decided to get out there and uh, go a little bit further I didn't go crazy I didn't go out all day long um, but I did manage to get a good a good uh, little ride in so hopefully more will be coming with the uh, the motorbikes but that said I've got some big news for the Kawasaki Vulcan and I need to give it a clean before that big news comes up. Comment down below what you think that news is going to be. Because it might interest some of you. As you can see, these roads are absolutely filthy. I mean, I'm not going to wipe the windscreen just yet because I've got the 360 camera on the roof. But that is the main reason why I stopped the actual um, recording yesterday with the uh, the Vulcan. The roads were just getting so unbelievably filthy that the camera couldn't see anything. And every time I wiped it, it just smeared black, brown road grime all over the, the lens. Um, I'll show you now what my actual trousers look like. Luckily, I was wearing my Gore-Tex kit. Otherwise, it would have just been absolutely well my legs if I was wearing jeans like motorcycle jeans my legs would have been absolutely destroyed they would have been hanging so yeah it was quite uh, quite lucky I've got Gore-Tex managed to put the Gore-Tex on let me know what you're thinking about these videos um, are you liking the Z4 content I know there's a lot of you that have recently joined my channel. I've actually gained 25 subscribers, nearly 35 subscribers, no, hold on a minute, 35 subscribers in just over, um, well, just under a week. That is the most I've had ever since being on my YouTube channel. Yeah, 35 subscribers in just under a week. Absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, let me know what you think. But it was really good to get back out on the Vulcan. My back, wow. <laughs> Today, my back is absolutely killing me. You can tell that I haven't ridden the Vulcan. Well, I haven't ridden the Vulcan in uh, since, well, probably about eight months. It's been a while. 
so yeah this video didn't end up the way I wanted it to I wanted to get back out on the Vulcan and make a bit more of a longer video unfortunately uh, the roads had other plans but never mind I've still got a little bit of content on the um, the Kawasaki Vulcan so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button I recently looked at my um, subscription rate people who are viewing the channel and it's about 93% of my views are from unsubscribed YouTube accounts so guys please just hit that subscribe button even if you don't watch all my videos watching some of them will uh, definitely give me some uh, nice analytical data that I can uh, I can roll with yeah, until next time everyone, take care and I'll see you soon.